In this first video, we're going to revise how to calculate formula mass or relative molecular mass, and it's sometimes called MR. Let's look at a first example. Calculate the formula mass of CO2. So first of all, we find carbon on the periodic table, and the box of carbon has the symbol in the middle and two numbers, 12 the mass number and six the atomic number. The box for oxygen has the symbol for oxygen, and this time its mass number is 16 and its atomic number is 8. So when it asks calculate the formula mass of CO2, it's really wanting to know the mass of one molecule of CO2. So we need to add up the individual masses of all the carbon and oxygen atoms. So one carbon atom has a mass of 12 and each carbon atom has a mass of 16. But we can see from the formula CO2, there's two atoms of oxygen. So we need to add in another 16 for the second oxygen atom. And we simply add all those together and the answer is 44. And there's no unit for formula mass. Let's look at a second example. Calculate the formula mass of H2SO4. So each hydrogen atom has a mass of one. The sulfur atom has a mass of 32. And each oxygen atom has a mass of 16. But we need to remember there's four atoms of oxygen. And when we add all that together, we get 98. Now you could also set it out like this, one plus one for the hydrogens, plus 32 for the sulfur, and then you could group together the oxygens and just say four times 16. Just make sure you do the multiplication first before adding it to everything else. And we still get 98. And once again, no units. So now it's time for you to have a go. So pause the video, scribble down the answers that you think they should be to these questions, and then resume the video and see how he got on. In question one, beryllium has a mass of nine and each chlorine atom has a mass of 35.5. And we need to remember there's two chlorine atoms and that total comes to 80. So the formula mass or the relative molecular mass or the MR for BeCl2 is 80. It's really important that you show you're working out just in case you slip up um, with your calculator, you will still get a mark for showing correct working out. Question two, calculate the formula mass of K2O. So each K atom potassium has a mass of 39 and there's two of those as we can see from K2O and then we've got the oxygen atom which has a mass of 16 and that comes to 64. In the final question the formula mass of NH4Cl the nitrogen has a mass of 14 then we've got four hydrogens each hydrogen has a mass of one and then we also add on one chlorine, which is 35.5. And the total is 53.5. So the formula mass of NH4Cl is 53.5. So to summarise, if we want to calculate the formula mass of a compound, you must add up the relative atomic mass, that's the mass number on the periodic table, of every atom of every element. Make sure you can remember this description of how to work out the formula mass for your exam. 